Talks and all new episode with conflicts. Today I'm super excited to show you the all new Tello by DJI. This here is a high tech drone in a small size, in which DJI is a company that makes a lot of high tech drones, and this here is no exception. Literally, you get a lot of technology in a small size at a small price. That's right, this here is a $100 drone, so I'm really excited to see what it has to offer. So without further ado, let's go ahead and unbox this thing and see what it's all about. So this here is our Tello, now this here is the white version of it, but you can always go ahead and swap out the casings itself and get different colors. Uh, very simple box but nonetheless, you know, you've got the red backdrop and you see the drone peeking through the plastic. Uh, actually a very simple look, and then over here it says it's got Intel on the inside, so it is quite advanced for what it is. On the back here it has a little bit more in terms of detail, so it's got 13 minute flight time. It's got a, a precise hovering, so like an auto hover kind of feature to it. 5 megapixel photos, which is pretty decent for what it is, as well as electronic image stabilization so you do have that kind of stable look to it and then it also has a 720 HD camera which is pretty good for what it is now it's also got multiple flight modes and easy operation as well as the ability to program it using an SDK version of it so giving you the ability to do that is always nice and on the bottom left I'll tell you about the other accessories you can make it like a controller a battery hub as well as different snap-on covers and on the bottom right here is how you can go ahead and download the app by simply scanning it so let's go ahead and open this up and see what's on the inside So this is everything that it comes with. So you got yourself your drone. You have yourself a quick little instruction manual. So this here's a little bit uh, like a user guide explaining how to go on and fly it, troubleshooting, etc. And then you have yourselves a battery pack, as well as a few different accessory parts in case you do break like a fan piece, as well as a tool to go ahead and remove it as well. So let's go ahead and take a look at the drone next. So for some first thoughts about the drone, it's actually made out of a very high quality grade material and it's really lightweight. Now the black finish off is almost like a matte metallic black and it almost feels like it's made out of like a rubber compound so it does feel quite durable and quite flexible. Now the top cover is a high gloss white finish which you can always go ahead and swap out and use different colors. The battery pack goes right into here in this slot here and then on the bottom here we have our sensors over here as well as some ventilation to keep the drone uh, nice and cool and then on the front here is our camera and yeah very simple design than nonetheless and literally just go ahead and plug and play and connect to your phone now with that being said let's go ahead and take it for a test flight all right so we're all set ready to fly here so the controls are quite simple on the top right here you can actually toggle between camera mode as well as video mode so you can go ahead and hit the record button it'll start recording just like this and then you have a few different things here uh, you have a one touch takeoff so let's go ahead and hit that button There it goes our drone, and as uh, you can see that it's actually quite sturdy, uh, it's almost like covering in place. Uh, DJI does a really great job in terms of their drone build, in terms of quality wise. You can see that it's actually maneuvering quite well. Now right now I am recording, so you can actually see how smooth the quality is on this. And I can go ahead and rotate the camera as well, so it does give you a full focus in terms of control go. Now in terms of the uh, controls on the screen itself, it's actually quite uh, responsive. So I'm actually looking at this car right here. I can go ahead and like go around it just like this. And I can even like spin it just like that. And kind of get a better idea exactly what I'm looking at. Now I'm gonna go ahead and uh, maneuver it over here just like that. And you can see that the speed of it isn't that fast in terms of um, the movement goes. And there is a bit of lag in terms of when you're going a little further away. So let's go ahead and pull it back just right over here. And you'll see that it does have a very slow response in terms of speed wise go, but it does give you more control over the drone itself. Now in terms of height, we just go ahead and head it up, and there we go. Let's see how high this thing goes. So, so far it's doing quite well. Uh, obviously it does take time for it to get to its height, and I think that is as high as it'll get. So it's not going higher than 10 meters, so kind of gives you an idea that it does have a nice safety mechanism in there. Uh, obviously you can't rotate the camera of the drone once it goes up to that specific height but you can always go ahead and maneuver in terms of uh, angle goes. So let's go ahead and bring it back down now. Okay, so you can actually see the drone up there in the sky. Uh, it's really small so it's hard to see but it's right there. There you go, right over there. 
Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and bring it closer to us just so you guys can see what we're looking at here. So, and there's a few other things here. We could do like flips. Uh, we could do up, up, then away. We could do 360 circle, balance mode, and a lot of different things. So let's try a 3D flip. Oh, look at that flip. So I can actually, all I do is put my finger in the middle of the square and spin it based on which direction I want to go. So back flip, front flip, etc. So that's actually a very nice feature and it makes it very easy to do tricks. So I'll hit X. And then we also have a few other ones as well. So here's a balance mode. Uh, so this will actually balance itself from the ground itself. So if I hit start, it'll go towards the ground. It's gonna balance itself just like that. Look at that. As some cool stuff, very different and very unique. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit stop. And then we have other modes as well. So we throw and go. So actually like you throw it and it'll go away. So there's also other features in here as well, such as up, up, and away, uh, which will go ahead and position itself where it's at and kind of fly back and bring it back towards the uh, center. And then there's a 360, which will go spin a full 360 in place. And then there's a circle mode, which will allow it to go around an object as well. So overall, kind of gives you an idea of what this thing's about. Uh, definitely very nice drone, but nonetheless. And the quality of it is really cool. I mean, like, look at that. So we're actually gonna go ahead and try maneuvering around these plants here a little bit and kind of give you an idea. Oh, no, 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 no. So we gotta bring it back now. I don't know where we're going. But we're actually on someone else's property. Let's bring it back. There we go. And all right, let's bring it back for a landing. So we're gonna go and slant it right over here. And hit land. And there you have it. So it kind of gives you an idea of what this drone's about. Definitely a very nice drone, uh, very easy to use and a great beginner drone. And yeah, if you guys had any questions about this particular DJI drone, feel free to comment down below. And with that being said, we'll see you guys next time. Take care now, bye bye.